It's Jeremy from WebsiteBuilderExpert.com and today we're going to show you an overview of how the e-commerce uh, online shopping function works on Jimdo.com. If you're still considering about whether to use Jimdo or not for, as your website builder and if you're building an online store, I would highly recommend uh, checking out Jimdo uh, because a lot of the other general website builders out there do not include a comprehensive uh, shopping cart like what Jimdo does. The benefit of having a shopping cart within a website builder that's fully integrated already is because they can provide you with the updates without you having to um, uh, fuss around with uh, updating third-party shopping carts or uh, trying to install them and get it configured and make sure they're compatible. Everything is built within Jimdo, which is the nice part. So let's get going. Um, on our demonstration site here, we have three product items here, which I just entered as uh, dummy products. But before we go there, just make sure you have your, uh, your store properly set up. So go into settings and under the store uh, row here, go settings and just insert the dollar, the currency you want to use, your uh, email address, country, state, because choosing a country is important because that would determine what kind of tax um, uh, uh, options that will provide you. So you can activate your taxes here, you can uh, configure all sorts of things like shipping time descriptions, etc. Oh, one thing before I skip that part is that you have the option of emailing or informing your customers by way of email that um, the products have been sh uh, shipped to them. So it's a very um, thoughtful touch from Jim Do. Payment options. While you're still testing out your online store, I will suggest you go uh, to test order so you can see how it works. Alternatively, you can just click PayPal here as well. One uh, thing to note is that um, if Jimdo can Im increase the number of payment provider uh, that they integrate with, that'll be even better. But PayPal, you can uh, pay with normal credit cards even without um, having a PayPal account set up. So make sure you, you describe that clearly to your potential customers. Shipping costs, you can configure that as well. You can charge shipping or you can uncheck this and there'll be free shipping. You can set up your costs, etc. with additional information. Uh, and these are a few things that I won't go into right now, but you can basically uh, fully describe your terms of services and return policy um, in the e that will accompany the email that goes out to your customers automatically once they purchase, which is nice. You don't have to handle that manually. So why don't we start taking uh, a closer look at these store items. They're easy to set up. First thing you do is there are three tabs up here, so we'll go through them one by one. The item name, um, I just put product one for now. If you want to have a little bit more guidance, just put your mouse over this little light bulb here. You can tag the product. The, the useful thing about tags is, is really when it comes to categorizing. So later on in, in another tutorial, when we go over the tagging function, if you want to pull up all the products with the same tag, you can just, um, this tagging function allows you to do so, um, especially when you're trying to cross promote to other products. Product description here, I just inserted some dummy text. You can style them as you want. And a brief summary, this is what shows up uh, in the order summary when they go ahead and start purchasing so they can have a friendly reminder of what the product is all about. In the photos area, you can just, you can control the size. So for example, this one here is medium and I can enlarge it if I want to show a much bigger picture uh, or I can make it really small. So it's really up to you. Um, and you can upload your images by clicking this. It's pretty easy to do. You just browse and, and select your images and upload. The process is pretty quick. And so once you upload the images, just go back here, you can uh, select which one of these uh, images will be your main photo. So you can just grab, if you don't want this to be the main uh, photo here, you can grab this and just shift it over here. And it's just really that simple. These little arrows here allow you to rotate the image and the cross here obviously is just delete. You can set the pricing here. Um, you can charge whatever you want and you can adjust the quantity. Um, press this so you know there's unlimited quantity, but if you're selling some larger products or you do have limited quantity, you can choose so here. 
Uh, estimated shipping times, you know, you can configure these description one to three days, uh, three to five, or five or more days in the settings feature I just described. And after you've done that, you're, you're pretty much set. Click on save. And I've already added a few more dummy items here. So why don't we go view the website in real life. And this is how it shows up, your product title, description, and we haven't set up tax yet. So it says no tax and shipping costs are applicable. Uh, av available and the shi shipping times are described down here. And if the image is large enough, when someone points the, the mouse cursor over here, you can zoom in, which is a very helpful tool. So they, they can um, have a closer look at the product that they might per be interested in purchasing. If they click into other images here, it will load automatically as well. Down here is the second uh, product that we have. And this one we're using a larger image. So again, a zooming in function here. So why don't we go ahead and test adding one of these items to the cart. We're going to pick, um, we'll just pick product one. And after you add a product to the cart, the shopping cart shows up on the left. If the person wants to um, uh, remove the item, just click reduce or enter zero and it's going to be gone. So if I click add to cart, they can just go through the checkout process when they're ready. They click checkout. Here it is. You see the nicely four-step checkout, so your customers know exactly where they are at any time uh, of the process. This is nice, and it is completely built into Jimdo, so you don't have to uh, worry about integrating other third-party third-party shopping carts. They can increase the volume, uh, the number of items, and this is what I mentioned here. This is the summary of your product summary that you configure when you're setting up the store item element. The price here, the shipping, everything's done, and uh, we currently have the test order set up. Let's go. Let's keep going. So if I click next, I'm going to insert my information and country, etc., wherever you are, and and they can add special notes if they wish. And uh, once they've done that, um, why don't I just quickly fill this up, and I'll be right back. So I've inserted some uh, random information here just so we can continue with this demonstration and click next so here it is you can change your address and billing um, shipping and billing addresses here if you wish and it's a summary of what's there and and uh, if you set up your online store properly this will be different but now we're in test order here is um, a f also a reminder of what they are purchasing just so they you know they don't have to go back and forth which is a very nice touch and when they're ready to confirm order, they click this. And here's a reminder uh, of the order process complete. Uh, you're gonna receive a confirmation email uh, right away, which is nice uh, to keep in touch with your customers to make sure everything is okay. The shipping time is three to five days. As I mentioned, you can configure this in, uh, in your shopping cart setup and the email address I just used. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to home page and once uh, the, the order is placed, let's come back into the Jimdo editor here. You can see, um, you're, well, first of all, you're gonna receive an email at your designated email that you do have purchased. Next, what you would do is come back into your website, into the editor, and you can see the store cart here. There is a little notification that says two, because there's two items that's been ordered. Um, I just did one before uh, starting this video. So you can see the one I just placed, the order I just placed is this one here, Jeremy Test. And this is today's date. And um, to the right hand side, uh, you see this little truck here. So if you um, have sent the order to the person, you can click on this and this will mark the item as delivered. So you can keep track of what is um, outstanding in your um, dashboard right here. And this one here marks that the, the person has paid you, that you confirm a payment, you can check this as well. Um, basically, this allows you to um, view all the items in the dashboard. And when I check those two items off, the order is automatically archived right here. Just to keep things a little bit clean, which is a very nice um, feature from Jimdo. So going back to the orders dashboard, you can see everything that's been ordered and that is outstanding and you need to process them um, by delivering the product and confirming the payment has been received. And 
this archive page um, here shows everything that's been dealt with. And at the same time, if you click into it, you can see all the information that the customer has provided you, including their billing and shipping address, the type of product they purchased. You can mark them as unpaid or uh, mark them as not sent if you want to go back to move them back to the orders dashboard here instead of in the archive. Um, you can email the customers, you can print the order, you can add notes to yourself, uh, which is a very, these are very nice features to help you um, keep track of things on your online store. You can also export the information right here. So you can print them or export them, and so you can archive them in your own computer for, for records purposes. If you click into the inventory here, you can see that we sold um, two items, a product one, uh, with, uh, so far, and this will keep track of your inventory for you. Okay, so this is a central dashboard where you can see all your products, how many inventory, how many units you have for each product, which is a very, um, friendly way of managing your store. Uh, it's, it's difficult enough to, to do all sorts of other things, so this feature from Jimdo really, really makes it, uh, makes life a lot simpler. And you can, uh, you can, you know, you can choose between available items or sold out items right here. So that is an overview of the shopping cart function for Jimdo. And as I said, you know, the, the benefit is that they've integrated the whole system into the website builder. So you don't have to look for an external uh, service provider and pay them extra money, a monthly um, uh, price to uh, integrate a third party shopping cart, which um, you're going to have to deal with integration issues. And um, it's just very much more pleasant to have everything uh, on one place with Jimdo and so you can focus your attention on selling more products instead of um, dealing with back-end administration. So hopefully this um, quick tutorial has shown you how powerful the shopping cart is uh, and flexible it is with Jimdo. So if you're still considering whether to use Jimdo or not, um, hopefully this has been helpful uh, and their e-commerce tools are actually quite pleasantly uh, well thought out. Thank you.